The murder of George Floyd and the whirlwind protest that has come with it has trickled into Ghana. Who says what and who has done what? Zinat and JQ discuss all the trends of the week on Trending GH. But before that, if you are sending money from Europe to Ghana or other parts of Africa, make sure you use Tap Tap Send. All you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send on your phone, uh, register, and then use my promo code AMIRD, and you get a discount of five pounds or five euros on your first transaction. Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. How was your week? Um, I mean, this week has been a honey hawk kind of week, but there's still a lot to talk about because there's a lot of progress that has been made. So we're going to quickly jump into our first story, which has to do with the worldwide trending story, which is justice for George Floyd, um, which has sparked the Black Lives Matter movement you know, going global. I mean, Nobody, I think in all the years that there's been Black Lives Matter, I've not seen South Korea or the other countries like jump on to this, you know, injustice that happens in the U.S. as much as this has brought. And it's, it's very good because at long last, it seems like all the struggles have brought results because um, the cop that had his knee on George's neck, his, his charge has been moved from third degree to second degree, and the other three cops that, you know, were not even charged at all have been arrested. So it's a win, a, a step in the right direction for justice, but there's more to do, and more Ghanaians have been talking about it. You know, they've been following the progress since the story broke out on social media, and even our celebrities have jumped on it. So we're going to just discuss a few things that our celebrities and people generally on social media have been saying, especially Ghanaians. So let's get into the first one. Who do we want to talk about first? I mean... Um, first, let's talk about that cartoon, that propaganda cartoon. Oh. For that one, we really have to talk about it because... <laughs> I don't understand. You know, I don't understand. I, I mean, mean... Politics... Sometimes you politicians, you take things way too far. Like, right. you blow it out of proportion. Right. So there was a cartoon um, which was shared by the director of communications mm -hmm. of the uh, NBC. Mr. Nebulos. Yes. <laughs> Lawyer Semi <laughs> Jeffrey. And, you know, it was totally, totally not necessary. At all. At all. Because this is a case that has, you know, gained worldwide you know, yeah. attention and... Something like this coming from Ghana. And mm -hmm. I think that this cartoon was out even before the president gave yes, his, his, statement. his statement. So like yeah. the world is watching. Yeah. Uh, these people are in, these are our brothers and sisters in the diaspora. Yeah. They they want support yeah. from us. Yeah. Because the year of return, yeah, yeah, so. yeah, Gigi almost so yeah, welcome yeah, home. We love money. you. They've come to invest <laughs> also, we've taken yeah. our money. They've come to invest in our economy. True, true, true. So if something like this is happening yeah. to them, outside of the world like and then the first thing that comes from the Ghanaian media circle is yeah something it's like something this. that is then ridiculing the whole fight, fight. i mean exactly. we we get we get you know he tried justifying it by saying that um it's just in comparison, comparison to yeah. what is happening now in ghana with regards to the um voters registration mm -hmm. um, and, um for the election and how the ec is not supposed to do it and they're suppressing the rights of Ghanaians and I mean, it's just wrong. And I like the fact that not only did um, social media users, but even um, some people from his own oh, political party, party yeah, you know, yeah, criticize yeah. it. But what is most disappointing was the fact that um, ex-president John Mahama took to Twitter um, a, day, a day or two later and I tried to justify, justify with, 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 yeah, with another artwork. I'm like, no, hold up, this is wrong. This is not even about Ghanaians in the first place. It it's I about racism in the world. The people are fighting it. They want to make it a Ghanaian issue. I mean, not in that essence. Yes, there is a Ghanaian aspect with, but not in this regard. Exactly. Yeah, so but like Z said, wrong. our president sent out his condolence his message and yeah. it seems to be doing very well in the it is because yeah. that's, that's like the first african person yeah like head of state to yeah come out yeah and, and it was such a strong statement, statement and it true. resonated with the with the Ghanaians and black community in the diaspora yeah. and they really appreciated it so that was a win to kind of redeem us from that one that from one. some, some know, Jimmy, right? Sammy but, yeah another you know i mean as she rightly said most of our celebrities were 
you know, against, you know, Lydia Paul saying she has lived in the States before. Yeah. So when issues like this come up and she's talking about you, you know that she, she comes from a point exactly where she understands. Yeah. One of the Cuba law, yeah. Sister Debbie, yeah. and all those people. I mean, Everyone was in support. Yeah. And, yeah. There were other celebrities yeah. who would see, like, during the protest, there were some heartbreaking videos and they would share. And, yeah. you know, I think the Blackout Tuesday. Yes. That yes. That one, that one that one really worked. Because yeah. I, I felt a lot of, almost half of Ghanaian celebrities that we know on social media, everybody yeah. was just posting the blackout. Yeah. And even if you feel like it's just, oh, it's nothing. It's just social media. The fact that they are committing to, yeah. you know, such a cause shows their concern and their appreciation. So, but then there were yeah. other conversations of uh, social media users who feel... Mm -hmm. Ghanaians are so tribalistic mm. and so when the movie has some engage in issues of racism. <laughs> yeah. An Ewe man cannot marry an Ashanti woman. You yeah. know? But, a, a but for me cannot marry a, a Christ like you know, issues like that. But I think that is that is far fetched. Yeah, and that is not panel. even the conversation that is being discussed exactly. at the moment. I mean, these these are conversations that you know rises once in a while. It's not even every day that you hear that it's publicly out there that this person right. is not saying don't marry me or anything. Yeah. And hardly does it even lead to violence or someone being, being killed. So in in the in the sense that you know people are discussing death and issues of brutality and all, and you and bring, bring tribe. Like I mean, I mean, I never said something this morning which I totally, you know, agree with. It was like, you know, like these are things that are happening to them and they have stood up and, and they are making noise yeah. and they are fighting about it. Yeah. Issues, if these issues are also affecting you, why don't you also, also step stop. up, start a yeah. movement? Yeah. And you know, talk about stop tribalism like now. And I mean, right. we even do when um, the xenophobic attacks in South Africa started. Everybody started this campaign, stop yeah. xenophobia. So I mean, it's it's going to be an on and on discussion. But all in all, it's good justice is being served in the U.S. Yeah. and it's good that the Black Lives Matter movement is getting more awareness. You guys should check out our Amel TV um, YouTube page. We had a conversation in December with one of the founding members of Black Lives Matter. She yeah. talks a lot about how the movement started and their goals and all of that so if you want to get a perspective of understanding of how black lives matter is affecting everything in the world go watch that video on amiao tv right uh so we'll jump into our first segment Enough yep of, you know, political political ah, this is not us. please let's go let's go <laughs> our first segment for this week is what the f, uh, <laughs> what the f. we are she we are she we are she we are she, you know. I don't think presenters do that though now. <laughs> you know, like it was a thing back in the day, people tried to see yeah, them, yeah. but now I, everything is not fun. I mean, now we are she. <laughs> <laughs> We just try to get interviews and put content out. And no, yeah. I'm interested in your laugh. Uh, yeah. Did Adam? <laughs> no, the question is, did Adam walk away because of the laugh or I think me, someone was calling him somewhere. No, but me, I feel like I heard Jack many times. <laughs> Legend, that is what I had. So basically, I don't know what we are talking about. Watch this video of this presenter who is trying to get an interview with. I made them. Who went with I made them? God, they did. I could not. We are chi. Guys, we are chi. We'll be right back. All right, the fam, we are out here. South first twenty nine. Welcome back, and you know, the show is proudly sponsored by Tap Tap Send. You know, the easiest, com most convenient way to send money from Europe to Ghana. All you have to do is, you know, download the app on your phone, hit the amount you want to send, and your money will be delivered as quick as possible. So, is don't forget to use the code AMIALD and you get five pounds or euros off your first, you know, free. Yes just like that now jumping into our second story which is in relation to so, yeah. exactly the matter of you know george floyd so our singer our one and only woman Queen, african woman yeah decided to share her thoughts i on, mean i feel like she was just advocating all the things african women <laughs> suffer in their marriages well, when it comes to People which, discriminating which people them. Which now is not the time. Do it another time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Becca tweeted, you are here in Africa fighting and advocating racism in the US, but in your church or home, you are criticizing and judging someone for marrying a fellow African because they are not from your hometown, country, or church. 
and you know had please that the important part why did you leave the important two parts damn <laughs> hypocrites or see ain't nobody fighting racism but it's not fighting their issues in their home are yeah. ah, hypocrites so basically everybody just keep quiet let the u.s like, people fight down. their fights don't join. Who talks like that? Why do you even have to? Is that I feel honestly, people are people are targeted because of the last line. The, last the, damn, the, the damn, damn hypocrite. Sorry for using that far word on sets, but basically, a lot of people felt like even if you want to convey that kind of message, right. that is not the right tone to use, and it is not the right moment. You know, we exactly. get it. And it was good that someone you know stood Anna up came, to her. Came, you know, stood up to her and said, you know what, you know, like th these are two different things. Mm -hmm. You can't compare them. Mm -hmm. Lydia Forsen also came and said, you know what totally out of line which yeah. we all agree yeah i don't know why people keep comparing these two they are two separate things no but the whole thing is there is any no need to compare at the moment people are fighting their fight they are facing is their police support? brutality yeah oh you keep quiet. you keep quiet okay guys let's move on to our next segment which is the shade of the week <laughs> drag Becca through the felt. I mean, Twitter is a savage place. If you people know Twitter, <laughs> you know that they don't play on Twitter. So following to, um, Becca's tweet about you know racism and how Ghanaians are damn hypocrites for talking about things that do not concern them, a Twitter user said, and yes, somewhere, this also concerns you, so call it. So <laughs> let's do our first shade, because it's a series of shades, so we are <laughs> All together. So the first shade was from one Frederick Brooks, and he says, When you were singing African Woman, you were all happy. <laughs> we were all happy. Not to know you had bleaching cream <laughs> in your left hand, and you were waiting for the song to end to start bleaching and become my coat. Becca Jackson. I mean, how many years have you been thinking about this? <laughs> waiting to pounce on Becca. And oh, the, the left hand, please, were you there? <laughs> Who handed it to her? No, I can't. So there's another one that says that um, racism started when you went from Becca to Michael oh, Jackson. God. Becca didn't bleach you guys. She got money and hey, her skin hey, glowed. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> she, got, she got money and her skin and glowed. And the devil. <laughs> guys, this is our shade of the week. We'll be right back. <laughs> Guys, welcome back. Um, this story has trended two and weeks straight. Two <laughs> and just on that, your bread of crab, I will tell you because it's important. Mr. Drew, yeah, I just want to eat. <laughs> I love the song. I just, uh, I just I came to eat. eat. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> he over ate <laughs> and he puked it out. <laughs> Rotimi said, You ate my food, now remove it. When the person who reported to, I just said more. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Drew, you yeah, know, sorry. he fell in love with Rotimi's love rhythm, you know. Which everybody laughs. Exactly. Everybody and laughs. And he decided to jump on it. But what we don't know is the fact that maybe he didn't ask for the right, he didn't go to the right channels. I mean, this is an international artist. Yeah. People don't play they with don't the play with the, yeah. issues. So, of course... Somebody, some Katia, was sitting here somewhere, yeah. and someone decided to you inform, know, him. inform him, yeah. and you know, it has sparked a lot of, the video has been taken down, yeah. and... I mean, I think yeah. When you said they didn't go to the right channels, clearly they didn't. Cause yeah. when when the video was taken down and the story broke, Kira released a statement. And whilst I was reading the statement, one thing was clear: never anywhere in the statement did they say that we seeked for permission. Their their excuse was that it was just a cover. We labeled the song a cover, but labeling someone's song a cover and featuring another artist okay. to the extent of even shooting a music, music video. video. Is this how we do before song covers? No. Come on, you just stand in the studio. You know something? Just... Honestly, that was what a lot of people talk because when he dropped the, the video, we all thought it was just oh, a TikTok, TikTok fan yeah. thing. Let's just put it on social media. And then the next minute, Stoneboy is on and it's a whole oh, recorded yeah. song. So, honestly, I, I, I mean, we had this discussion even in our studio. We we're talking about it. We we're like, this is not right. You get such a big opportunity to feature Stoneboy. And then the first thing you want to do is to do a cover song, which you can't even claim later. So, 
basically Kiwa says that yes they were they were wrong because they didn't alert their publisher because they didn't have to get monetized that music video so that was why youtube took the music video off but in regards to the song they didn't steal it they made it clear that it was a cover song so that is their excuse that they are sane and safe and all but um, um safe and all but Ghanian said no you are a thief you this is not the so first time you've stolen a song you stole mr kel uh, kel songs uh jail or something something work. yeah so these outside people they don't play yeah with you. i mean what's what's good about this is that it's it's going to create the awareness for ghanaian musicians right. that even don't if you get someone's beat and you feel you like the beat don't just go because now it's, it's it's not like the olden days that people will not even research because now people are used to a lot of sound so if you right. use a sound you think people don't know it will shock you the the, the receipts that getting, people will bring I'm to in you touch with these artists. it's, it's very so easy. easy look at even the one who reported you just instagram, just instagram. someone is using your song you could have just done the same this thing same i want thing. to do this right. and feature someone and then things would have been all cleared out so hopefully they will clear it all out and maybe the video would be back up you never know but Ah, the know, way he celebrated hundred thousand views for uh, Gene any oh, Yeah. Yes, also she he you know, when the issue was trending, people were trying to bring in Stoneboy's name and said that Stoneboy knew that the song was a stolen song and he jumped on it and all. And Stoneboy defended himself. He says when the song came out, he knew the song was not for Mr. Drew. So yeah. he told Mr. Drew and his team to do the right thing by contacting Rotimi's team so that everything is all cleared out, yeah. which they clearly didn't do. And now they are facing the consequence. But Drew says, leave Mr. Stoneboy out of it. I went to steal my song and now I have over it and have puked in. See, move on, see, yeah, Ghana for I beg you. Lessons learned, though. It's all anyway, good. Next segment, make it stop. You guys, this is our precedent. You people keep doing <laughs> like, do, <laughs> make it stop. So, someone decided to, you know, just do a whole they, they have time, oh, and the way it's, it's in sync. That's what's amazing. It's pure creativity. Kudos, kudos to social media stars. But you guys, make it stop. <laughs> you do this, though. Some of them. Foul languages if the person put, put in the I know we'll not come about this, this things like this. And yeah. there's also a t-shirt with his glasses. That oh yes. Guys. Round two. <laughs> Make it stop. We are going. Let's go <laughs> round two. Nana ba. Look at the level 400 students, the SHS and JHS three students. No, maybe you more cra dang. Muti fi mu di di hele gonfo. Mu di di sa mo nyeshi. Just mo be treti mo mo che fellow Ghanaians. Mwa. I na na do down kwa kufu ado. Me mama ye exams no. He uni yangu la wi. Me mama fi on fucking. Look at the level four hundred students. Um, hi guys, welcome back. Don't forget tap tap send. Send that money from Europe to Ghana. Easy. Easy. Use the code I'm LD and get five euros or pounds of exactly free. Man. Exactly. Man. But yeah, our next story. Billboard released uh, some rankings this week, which has caused a lot of, you know, some people are happy, others are not so happy. So yeah, um, according to, you know, uh, the news surrounding the rankings, um, they did the ranking based on uh, YouTube views from May 2019 to May 2020. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter if the videos are old i think they took all like all your videos on youtube and then analyze and then, then yeah so that they compared who who has the most, most views okay. and all that okay, okay. and shatawale came on top i Yay. think stoneboy was second uh, no somebody was second stoneboy was third head. and the most controversial one that people do not understand is diana hamilton hey, hey, okay. so, wait wait has joined uh page as nyako <laughs> reacted <laughs> As my sister reacted, cause when they announced them, they were young. Yeah, so yeah, Daniel Hamilton's own has caused quite a, you know, a lot of people don't understand how Diana Hamilton did the whole of Ghana. Just like there's Joey B, there's Medical, there's Wendy and Co. Diana Hamilton has been able to. But Ghanaians love gospel musical, and and Diana Hamilton. I mean, even last year's VGMA was proof of how big she was from twenty. 19 to 2020 that her single song alone money yo that song has a lot of views on youtube mm -hmm. so for me i don't think it's surprising at all it's but i mean those who know those they stand for yeah. are the ones that have issues yeah, with it the issue and, i mean it was it was not like a worldwide ranking it was just 
Uh, yeah, homegrown. Home so they did it for different different countries, and exactly. this is it. I mean, if, 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 for me, I feel like it's still good in the long run because it still puts you know the Ghanaian music out there, exactly. so people will be interested in ah, why is Anna Hamilton in this list? Let me go and watch. How come Shatter has beaten Wa? So it even goes more to help the artists and also puts their brand out there, especially that um, I think this month Billboard is focusing more on African talent and African stars. Mm -hmm. You know, they featured Siwa and all of that. So Mm -hmm. It's good that our Ghanaian acts are also getting a spread or a space on yeah, the, they're, they're, the I mean, billboard. The international world is really opening up to African music. Yeah. And I mean, music you have to. I feel like the world is just changing. changing so yeah. so things are changing. So there's a time that our musicians have to, you know, up their game and not up, copy up, people's up, songs up, up, yeah. and do the right thing and put their sound out there because the world is consuming. So mm -hmm. this is the right time to put stuff up. So kudos to all those who made the list, yeah. to those who couldn't make the list. Hopefully next year, you get your fans. to our best friend, Shatawali. Oh yes, oh Wale Mina, <laughs> Shata Wale Mina, Shata Wale. I sent for life. For life is for life. Yeah, I mean, I'll think about you. I devil boy. I devil boy. Okay, guys, we're moving on to our next segment, which is hot picks of the week. And she is always a hottie. I mean, she doesn't have to show us much, which is why a lot of people love her. This week's hot picks is from the another. Burla and, and our director's favorite girl. Hey, Burla Monday. Burla Monday. Like Monday is doing them good. Oh, Miss G. <laughs> Even Anita Kufu. And also, yes, Anita Kufu's birthday was this week. Happy belated birthday, Anita. And her photos were also stunning. Yeah. But TV3, in two years' time, come and, come and buy me. <laughs> come and buy me TV3. Yeah, I'm not resigned yet. I mean, I said three years' time. But anyway, TV3 is making our stars glow, and they are glowing really good, especially Miss Adade, TV3 star girl. Ghana's Oprah Winfrey incoming. No be small accolades that they give you. Bella, Atale Wedie, Uche Royal Queen, Queen Elizabeth of Ghana, Jininina. Okay, guys, welcome back. So, um, this week we received some sad news of some people passing away, and I think when the story broke, especially for this particular gentleman, a lot of people were a bit surprised, were like, you are saying this person is a radio presenter, this person is popular. I don't know who the person is. But then later when you read the story and also when you go on social media, you begin to, you know, familiarize yourself with the person. A lot of people were like, I don't know, man. As soon as they see the image or something in relation, they're like, oh, I remember this guy. So um, despite media group, I'm saying despite media group because a lot of people are saying Peace FM, Needs Peace FM. FM. He's with the whole despite. So you can hear him on all of their affiliate media stations. Um, Kojo Riafe. Most people on social media know him as your favorite MC's mm -hmm. MC. He's a very, very hyper young man who is energetic. He turns up people's weddings, events, and it just came as such a blow because the last time his name was really, really out there and his face was really, really out there was when Kenzie 2020 was yeah. happening. I mean, basically, all the most of the videos that <laughs> we had and were posting were being gotten from... Um, Kojo Riafe's Instagram page, and he was all over. You, he was part of the planning. He was part of the event itself. He even hosted the after party of the Kensi 2020 main wedding. So it really came as a huge surprise to a lot of people who follow social media, especially this wedding pages, because yeah. you find him on almost every wedding vendor's page, because he's a very good gentleman and a very good radio presenter as that. He was, he had... Um, a show on Neat FM, you hosted their drive time show, Young Kofie, and it was very good. So, yeah, Thanks. despite media is mourning the, the, the loss of their, you know, very good presenter, and a lot of celebrities have also shown their support. Kennedy Osei, um, Abeku Santana, most of the despite stars, they've mm -hmm. all shared their condolences. And, yeah, we share our condolences also with their family as well. Okay. Yeah, someone else who also lost someone was Sister Fia. What an unyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyeyey
that's some sad news, but then, yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Let's so, drop the sad news and get some happy news. Yeah. Uh, next segment, which is all moments. And oh. this week's all moments oh. is very funny. It features Stoneboy's son. Oh, So, I yeah. think they had... They went into the kitchen to steal either biscuits or something, and it was in their mouth. And someone was shouting at you and say, "Remove it!" And the way he says, "I won't," oh. and then he ran off. It's, it's just so cute. So yeah, our moment for today featuring. <laughs> He's cute. He's so cute. The one and only Beam Sam. Yeah, this it was be a Jaja. Yeah, Stone Stone Baby. Stone Baby. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be back. What's in your mouth? Open your mouth. Open your mouth, Jada. Hi guys, welcome back. And you know, um, it's still coronavirus season. So before we end the show, we give you some updates on, you know, what's going on in Ghana and also around the world. But you know, this week, which, I mean, yeah, Sunday, the president, you know, addressed us for the last time. For the last time, is that what he says? <laughs> I think they were saying that's the last, I, on social media, people were saying that's the, his last. Because address. he's not, he's not addressed the restaurants opening okay. and all of those. So let's so, see, yeah. probably he will do that final last one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, he uh, addressed us and there were some, you know, uh, changes Update that and had, uh, updates yeah. and all. He eased some of the restrictions, um, you know, um, he said that the churches and mosques could open, but then just a hundred people. And one hour each. <laughs> and one have, hour each. Have thermometer to check temperatures at the door and all of those, I mean. And also, um, final year students. Can return. With, 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 with some... Honestly, the, 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 the plan for the students to return to school really didn't seem feasible for a lot of the, a lot of the institutions because the timelines, the new timelines government were given were not going to favor them because in most of their calendars, they have even ended the semester. Yeah. And then they had to drag it because of all this COVID. Yeah. So if you are saying people should go back to school for one more month and later they should write their exam, that's why most of the universities, I'm saying most because UPSA, GIJ, University of Ghana, they are continuing with online examinations. They are not asking final years to return to school. They only say return to school if you don't have internet access in your, your, your various homes. Then you can come on campus, but you are still writing your exam online. So the whole come and write exam in school, distance spacing, 50 people in the classroom, most universities are not doing that. It also begs the question of whether he really involves stakeholders. Or... Right. Because when you, yeah, because yeah. he came out and he said, you know, we've talked to major people. Yeah. I mean, and then these major to... people are going against the right. very directives you've given. Even churches the churches. Are saying, don't come who... to church. Yeah. Most so. Are saying, your chief imam says, you don't, know go what, to... don't go to the Yeah. So, so we... who were the consultants? <laughs> Who were the consultants? Anyway, so just happy life is gradually going back to normal. And yeah. our current COVID stats stands at um, 8,548 8, confirmed cases with 3,132 recoveries and 38 deaths. So our yeah. current active um, COVID count is 5,378. We just hope that it doesn't get to 1,000, even though they keep... Um, 10,000, 10, I mean, <laughs> even though it keeps increasing and yeah. people are recovering and COVID can go forever and life can come back to normal. But always, guys, remember to wash your hands, sanitize your hand, wear your nose masks, social distancing, social distancing, all of that, so that we can stay alive and strong. Uh, before we end the show, throw back. this favorite... Throw back. So it the back. And this one, this person was actually on the moon. Hey, Jobeto, you were standing on the moon, an invisible moon. Hey, oh, this is, me. this is this is not Bononi. <laughs> this is not Bononi. This is Jesus is your everything. Ah. <laughs> Jesus is your everything, Abba. Hey, gospel German musician Jobeto, aka Patience. Now, cause competitor. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Joe Metal and you guys just check out this. This show. is a proper chocolate boy pose. <laughs> 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 oh, Joe Metal, um, you've come from far. God bless you. God bless, you, God bless, you. bless you. Bless yeah. you. Bless you. It's been a blast, guys. Yeah. Uh, don't forget, tap, tap, send. Easiest and most convenient way. 
to send money from Europe to Ghana. All you have to do is download the app on your phone. Tap, and tap, 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 and send. Yep. And don't forget to use the code AMIALD for 5 euros or pounds discount. Yeah, and also make sure to always follow AmiAdeba.com for the latest in entertainment, lifestyle, news, and our social media handles. Amiya TV, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube is... Uh, I'm your TV official, and of course, thank you for 20k subscribers, guys. Yay! But continue, keep subscribing. We love you all, and we will see you next week.